hey guys uh, welcome back so uh, in this particular video we are going to talk about the uh, list of accounting standards and we will try to understand these particular standards in detail okay so uh, in our previous video we generally talk about uh, the concepts of accountancy uh, and the basic procedure and we talk about uh, the conventions of accountancy so now uh, with this particular one, we will understand the uh, accounting standards. So what are uh, the 32 accounting standards and uh, what are the key about these particular standards. Okay. So whenever we talk about accounting standards, these are some set of rules. Okay. Or you can say these are some guidelines, which is common for all companies. Okay. So let's say, let's uh, uh, assume like if we have different, different uh, accounting standard for different different companies or companies they are using different standards so there will be some problems so there will be problems to investors to uh, uh, summarize that particular data to analyze that particular data so uh, every government they generally um, release a list of accounting standards and even uh, they have a governing authority as well like in case of India it is uh, Institute of Chartered Accountant of India they generally give certain guidelines so when you are preparing your accounts so you have to prepare the uh, according uh, to these particular standards or you have to maintain these uh, minimum standards while preparing your accountancy okay so accountings whenever you talk about these standards so every functioning body that operates need a defined guidelines uh, these guidelines in term of accountancy they generally known as uh, accounting standards so as to maintain the pro uh, procedure and uh, the standard of the operations of its own business the rule make the policies common for organization that operate in a similar field okay so like if we have some set of guidelines so everybody is following those particular guidelines and uh, with this we'll have a uh, like we'll have a common uh, database and on the basis of this particular database investor they can easily identify it uh, identify the, um, uh, the the present scenario of that particular business as well okay so if if you talk about the uh, accounting standards in india these are generally monitored by Indian Institute of Chartered Account of India uh, that recognize the need of harmonize the um, diverse accounting policies and practices uh, which is constituted in 1977 by um, Accounting Standard Board which is also known as ASB. So ASB formulate accounting standards so that council, uh, council of ICAI may mandate such standards. Okay, So these guidelines are generally established by ASB and uh, these guidelines are generally monitored or supervised by in Institute of uh, Chartered Accountants of India. So we have number of accounting standards. In this particular video, we will uh, go through these particular, these particular um, uh, accounting standards one by one. Okay. So as you can see, first accounting standard, we have uh, accounting disclosure policies. Okay, so first one is accounting disclosure policies. It is something related to all significant policies adopted by um, adopted in preparation of financial statement should be disclosed. Okay, so let's say if you are preparing accounts, so what are the fundamentals of that particular account? So you have to disclose that particular one. or any relevant information related to investors. So that um, that must be uh, disclosing uh, the accounts of that particular uh, company as well. Next one we have uh, uh, inventories valuations. So whenever we do inventory valuations, so at what cost we generally um, like we 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 are generally carried these particular or we generally evaluate those particular in inventories that should be uh, part of your accountancy. So deal with the um, determination of um, value at which inventories are carried out or it is valued so that is related to your accountancy standard too third one we have um, cash flow statement so whenever you talk about cash flow statement so how you generally how like when being a being an accountant how you will prepare your cash flow statements 
or uh, the presentation of um, cash flow statements or like we have cash flow like we have further classification for cash flow like operating investing financing so we have different different activities in our uh, a company so the further classification or the further uh, segmentation of these particular areas that generally comes under cash flow statement then fourth one we have uh, balance sheet uh, balance sheet date events and uh, uh, contingencies so if you talk about the fourth one it is the treatment of contingencies in your company or like uh, treatment of financial statements okay so um, like any any uh, future gain or losses or we can say event after balance sheets or even before balance sheets so which all are all these particular all these kind of treatments which are generally part of your accounting standard 4 now next one we have accounting standard 5 so uh, uh, prior period item net profit loss in the period or accounting uh, policy charges okay so if you talk about the accounting standard 5 that generally deal with um, the treatment of a prior period and uh, extraordinary events okay so if there is any extraordinary events or like we have debit credit which arise in the current years or a result of the omission or mistakes in prior periods so these all are the part of your um, uh, accounting standard 5 or we can say disposable of fixed assets so all these are entries which are um, according to the uh, accounting standard fifth next one depreciation accounting so like depreciation which is generally charged on the fixed asset okay so by what percentage their value is decreasing so that is called de uh, depreciation and it is applies on uh, the fixed asset okay so depreciation is measure of wearing out assets or we use different different uh, methods to calculate the depreciations so Uh, some like some common methods or um, uh, like we have um, uh, uh, let's say if you are preparing accounts so which um, depreciation methods you are using so that is generally part of your accounting standard 6 then we have accounting of construction contract so accounting of construct construction contract that is um, like um, uh, amount and method used uh, to determine the revenue recognized you can say or we can say like type of contract like we have fixed uh, price contract plus um, escalation cost or cost uh, plus a fixed fee so these all are the construction related things which generally part of this particular accountancy standard next one we have uh, errors uh, error correction and uh, charges according uh, uh, charges according to policies so uh, previously we have if you talk about the accounting standard 8 we have uh, research and development expenses now it is merged with the uh, uh, accounting standard 26 which is deal with uh, intangible asset so now we have uh, recognition of revenue or we can say error corrections and all so which is generally part of this particular one revenue recognition again revenue recognition if you talk about revenue recognition so like what income we generate time when that particular income uh, Uh, that that is generated by any specific company or uh, when revenue is uh, when re revenue recognition uh, postponed it or what are the issues or uh, the pro the proper uh, disclosure for these kind of delays or we can say any kind of uh, circumstances which happen so disclosure regarding that particular one so that generally deal with recognition of revenue next one we have uh, plan property and equipments which are generally part of your fixed asset so accounting of fixed asset you can also say okay so accounting standard 10 that generally deal with the accounting of fixed assets so property plan and equipments and disclosure about these particular asset as well so like uh, purchase price plus import duties plus taxes direct cost or training cost or test run cost so all these Uh, all these head that generally comes under the accounting standard 10 which generally deal with the uh, accounting of fixed asset which are uh, property plant and equipments next one we have uh, changes in rate of uh, foreign exchange uh, rate so every company they like if that particular company is dealing in foreign exchange 
so if they are doing uh, some export business or import business so they'll definitely have some impact of this foreign exchange prices so how these particular prices are impacting your overall transactions or the transaction in foreign currencies made by that particular company financial statement of the uh, the, the foreign uh, operations or forward contracts or we if we have some uh, like if you are using currency swaps or if you are using interest rate swaps so that generally comes under this particular accounting standards next one we have um, government grants so any grant which is generally provided by the government so entities they need to disclose that particular one so uh, subsidies or we have cash incentive we have duty drawbacks which are generally given by the government so you have to disclose that particular one as well uh, accounting standard 13 investment accounting so investment made by the companies so they have to disclose that particular one okay so it can be um, like uh, uh, the, it can be through uh, the parent organizations or even by the subsidiaries and all so long term or short term investment so they have to disclose this particular one under uh, under accounting standard 13 next one is about amalgamation so if you talk about if any amalgamation is done amalgamation is like um, mergers okay so if that particular company merges with some other company or if they acquire some subsidies and all so they have to disclose that particular one as well so which is generally part of amalgamation accounting employee benefit so there are number of employee benefits which are generally provided by the companies nowadays like we have pf we have pension facilities we have a uh, graduate leave investment or post retirement welfares okay so well, what benefits you are providing to your employees and what are the key methods by which retirement benefits are generally valued so which is which will be part of your accounting standard 15 next one borrowing cost so this is very simple one as well okay so if that particular company borrow money from general public or from other institutional uh, lenders so they have to disclose that particular one and at what cost they generally borrow that particular money so they have to disclose uh, that one also next one we have financial segment reporting so like um, in an organization we have different different segments okay so they have uh, they have to disclose about the uh, they have to do this uh, segment reporting okay so like um, uh, so with this particular data we can evaluate the overall performance of the different different departments of that particular uh, company as well okay so reporting of information about different type of products let, let's say if that company is running multiple products so what is which is the profit making product and uh, which is the loss making pro, uh, uh, product so with this we can analyze that particular area as well <coughs> no, sorry so these are these uh, 17 now we'll move to the next one so next one is <coughs> related party or uh, transactions or uh, disclosure so every company they have different different vendors so under um, uh, accounting standard 18 so they have to disclose about them okay so how they are like uh, what is the feature of contract and how they registered or how, how they associated with that particular organizations so that is only part of this one lease transactions so um, if there is anything which is given or taken in lease so uh, the, the detail about that particular contract earning per share this is again very important one. so many times examiner they generally ask question based on um, earning per share so what is the earning per share of that particular organization comparison uh, between uh, enterprises or we can say comparison uh, year on year con comparison so when you calculate earning per share the formula is very simple so it is net profit divided by the weighted average number of shares so net profit or net loss divided by weighted average number of shares so uh, companies they have to disclose this one as well okay next one consolidated financial principles so consolidated financial statements uh, of parent and subsidies subsidiaries okay so uh, for the like balance sheet for the parent organization as well as let, let's say if any uh, company they have different uh, five number of subsidiaries so 
we need five different different accounts or different different uh, uh, financial statement for all subsidiaries and one common for the parent organization as well okay next one if you talk about the 22 so it is taxable income account uh, accounting so taxable income accounting means like uh, the overall income generated by the um, parent organization as well as the associate and subsidiaries in a given time duration so uh, the overall disclosure of that particular income that generally deal in uh, deal with accounting standard 22. Then we have investment in uh, associate uh, accounting. So let's say uh, there is a company, a parent company who have two, three associates. So what amount of investment made by parent company in these associates and even uh, like if that particular company is from five years or 10 years. So how that particular investment is uh, generating money from these particular associate they are making profit or they are making losses so the proper accountability for that particular one then we have discontinuation of operation like let's say there is a company who running five products so after the analysis they found there is one product which is loss making uh, from last two three years so if that company is discontinuing that particular product so they have to disclose as per accounting standard 24 interim financial uh, reporting so interim uh, interim financial reporting is like you have to report like so many times companies they generally come with the uh, interim balance sheet or like uh, what is their interim uh, profit and loss so that is like within that particular financial year like right now we have financial year 22 23 okay so the final seat will come after three months of uh, the uh, completion of this particular financial year which will end on 31st march 2023 okay but right now companies they are coming with their interim balance sheet their interim uh, profit and loss or cash flow statements or other note as well okay so that is generally part of your interim reporting which deal with accounting standard 25th Next one, intangible asset accounting. <clears throat> so, uh, like for when we do the valuation of companies, so they have to do the um, intangible, the valuations of in intangible assets, which include like research and development or uh, which were like previously it was part of the accounting standard aid or we have the uh, patent copyrights, we have goodwill, we have disclosure of useful life or amortization rate or methods so which are generally part of your intangible assets okay next one we have uh, a reporting of interest in uh, joint ventures so uh, like this is similar to your associate accounting or subsidiaries accounting so if that particular company have some joint ventures so the overall investment disclosure or the profit and loss disclosure that generally deal with the accounting standard 27 then we have asset um, impairment so asset impairment that generally deal with the uh, fixed asset okay like, let's say if you buy some machinery and the market price of that particular machinery is um, uh, less than the uh, uh, the, the uh, balance sheet value so that is generally part of assets uh, impairments so you have to adjust that particular value and you have to do a proper accounting for that particular one then we have um, Contingent assets and liabilities provision. So what are the assets and liabilities in that particular organization? Overall equity and debt. So or we can say provisions for uh, uh, like we have contingency management or like other provisions made by the organization. So these all are generally part of accounting standard 20 uh, accounting standards 29 next one. These three are generally called optionals. So 29 which are mandatory but these three 30th 31st and 32 these are optional so sometime when you go for the list of accounting standards you will find only 29 but we have total 32 so, so these three they are generally uh, optional in nature so first one is measurement and recognition of financial uh, instruments another one is presentation of uh, financial instrument and final one is disclosure required for reporting of financial instruments so financial instruments investment made by the companies in different different areas in stocks and equities and all so that are generally part of this particular one so guys um, like whenever we talk about the financial uh, uh, accounting standards so we have a list of accounting standards but for your examination viewpoint there are few uh, uh, 
uh, there there are few uh, accounting standards which are very important like they are uh, they uh, they ask about the earning per share they ask about the employee uh, benefits or uh, this uh, accounting standard 10 which is very important about fixed asset which is plant um, property and equipments and we have revenue recognition again very important accounting disclosure policies inventory uh, evaluation so these are a few very important uh, accounting standards which are generally asked in your examination okay so in this particular video we generally try to uh, list out the all financial uh, all uh, accounting standards in one video so you can um, you can try to remember all uh, these particular finance uh, accounting standards apart from that you can even list down few uh, important accounting standards so when you will uh, like when you will do um, the uh, when you will study accountancy in detail so you need these particular accounting standards or even when you will do the accountancy or when you will prepare company account one and two so you will need these particular uh, these particular standards for your uh, for your bookkeeping purpose or for your uh, like preparation of final accounts and all okay so uh, hope these particular one is clear we will discuss these particular accounting standards in detail in like one by one okay so i'll come with uh, videos where we'll discuss um, uh, each and every accounting standard in detail actually okay so this is it for this particular one thank you for watching this video guys bye bye take care all